Now we're getting ready for the A final. We will see some ladies getting under this Olympic trials qualifying time, I am sure. Seven of the eight swimmers in this A final already have their Olympic trials qualifying time. And I'll let you know who the one isn't in just a minute. Let's set the field. That's Bacon Burns in lane one from Nation's Capital. In lane two is her teammate, Isabella Rangioni. In lane three, Joy Field, Magnolia Aquatic Club. Lane four, Paige Madden, City of Mobile. Five, Sydney Lofquist, Mason Manta Rays. In lane six is Kendall Brent from Swim Florida. Seven is Katie Drabit from Ozaki Aquatics. And rounding out, rounding out the field, lane eight, Megan Maroney, St. Andrews Swimming. Now the only swimmer to not have an Olympic trials qualifying time is lane three, Joy Field. She's less than a second off. Let's see if this field can help her get to it. The A final, the foreigner free. Isabella Rangioni in lane two won the 1650 on Tuesday. Maybe the 400's a bit too short for her, but we'll see how she does against this field. She does have the fastest lifetime best among everyone else for 1497. Again, Joy Field in lane three, the only one that does not have the Olympic trial qualifying time in this event. She may not know that, but she knows how close she is, and I'm sure she would love to get it. Katie Drabit in lane number seven, won the 200 freestyle last night. She's looking for a double win here. Megan Burns right now is the leader in lane number one, 101.87. Nation's capital, of course, the home of Katie Ledecky, the world record holder in this event. Katie did swim in this meet in 2012. So I'm extremely well. And of course, later that year, went on to make the Olympic team and win the gold medal in the 800 freestyle. And the rest is quite amazing history. Megan Burns still holding on to a lead. We got Field in lane three running second, but it's pretty close. Katie Drabit trying to edge out. So it's very early. We're coming up to 200 meters, the halfway point in the race. Megan Burns is still leading. The field is starting to catch up, even out a little bit more. And now look at that, Joy Field in lane three, turning first. As I said, she's the only one that doesn't have Olympic trials qualifying time, and she is out on a purpose to make sure she gets it. Turning first now, Katie Drabit, 112. We're getting closer to that last 100. We're getting on that last 100. Katie Drabit pulling away here. She really made a push on that 300 meter mark. And it is pretty much a sprint here. Had a malfunction with the scoreboard, so we won't be able to get an official time right away. 
will be able to tell you touches first. They'll at least be able to do that. We got three ladies on the on the move here. Lane four, Paige Madden in four, Kendall Brent in six, Catherine Draven in seven. The times won't be official, but the touch will go to Paige Madden. Two fifth, and the time's not right. It says two fifteen nine zero on the scoreboard, but that is not going to be right. And most likely, officially, Katie Draven will get second, and Kendall Brent will get third. Look forward to see what those official times are later on. <laughs> 